Hello everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are watching from. God bless you once again for coming to my YouTube channel. And I will use this medium to say thank you, thank you all for all your support. Those that be supporting me in one way or the other. Those that be liking my video. Those that share me out, that watch me, that subscribe for me and my returning subscriber. You are all welcome in Jesus' name. And I thank you all for your support. Keep on doing your good work. There is reward, reward in it. God bless you. And if today is your first time of coming across my YouTube channel, kindly subscribe, like, comment, and share. God bless you as you do that. For today's video, I want to show Una one video where one of our big bros talk say the only mercy to Nigeria is to say Nigeria. He said the only cure to Nigeria. He said with the talk say answers, answers. He said which kind of answers. He said the only cure to Nigeria is to say Nigeria. I don't feel for that thing. Una believe say that is the only solution. For me, I believe, say, to say Nigeria is not the cure. You understand? So, that is what he said, our Nigeria, because he said there is no good thing in Nigeria. And true, true, if you hear what he talk, true today, oh, one side, oh, which good thing in Nigeria? Like, no electricity, no, 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 no school fees. Our children, we're supposed to day school, they, they, they market, they streets, they walk. How can you see you see six years old children? They are made this school, they read, then go the street, they walk for which they want to survive. What is really good in that Nigeria? So now the solution. What is the solution to hand all these bad leaders? To remove the only solution is to remove all we should pray together, we should join hands, make we join hands together, more hand all these bad leaders. When more we pray to our God. Only God will help us remove all those barbaric that, that fake uh, mumumbuari uh, may they come up for that as well. You understand? That is where only Nigeria go better. You see our youth now, not, they're not cooperate again. If you look at most of them now, they don't come up for streets because no one want to die because the way that they kill them. And number two, they don't bribe some. So how does Nigeria want to do it better if those barbaric leaders don't come out? If you look at the sense, more sense there for waiting this guy talk. Oh, but if you say Nigeria, you want to sell our brothers, our sister, our mother, they you want you want me to sell everybody, you know. Selling Nigeria is not the solution. The only solution is what we need to do. The only solution is for us to pray to our God, Almighty God, to help us remove all those Baba leaders, even our vice president. You understand me? He know the truth, but he cannot say it. What are, you want to fear man past God? God they watch you, God they watch everyone. We know the truth, we know what talk. So my people, Mona, listen to the video. God. Our brothers and sisters, I predicted what is happening today. I told you they be how to shoot you to kill and to destroy. Reports from Bini, Port Harcourt, Abuja, Lagos, everywhere had vindicated me, had confirmed what I told you. No tyrant will leave without bearing all his fans. And for you to confront a tyrant, you must be ready. It is not bedroom, darling, darling, city, 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 kid. That is not what it is. Revolution is much more than that. So what are your demands? Answers. What is answers? Good governance. What is good governance? These are abstract things. You say answers. They've been answers now. They brought swat. My father flogged you with Cain, chastised you with Cain. Me, 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 me. I'm going to chastise you with Scorpion. That was the word, what happened. 
you are ending campaigning for answers. The only thing, the only remedy, the only cure is to end Nigeria. There's nothing good about Nigeria. Like I told you, you are just mere appendages. You are nobody. Some other people own this Nigeria. When they want to hurt everybody, they hurt you. When they want to play football, they put you there. When they want to go to the Olympics, they put you to go and run. When it is time to speak non gutter baking baby, they carry you there. That's what they do. Uh, we are the educated one. We are the elite. A country that gives constitutional right to all citizens. The, the, the constitution talk about that educated people are more are better, more citizens than all educated people like me, immigrants. Stack illiterates like me. We don't have rights. So you will tell me we don't have rights and I should support you. So who you be now? Revolution is total commitment. You must know what you want. What do I want? I know that the holy hope, the holy hope, the holy hope of our people is Biafra. All those talking about Ninja Delta Republic, talking about the restructure, all they want to remain in this shit hole called Nigeria. They want to, be, they're happy with being appendages. My friend was just talking to me just now about contracts, millions of dollars. In the oil industry, you are talking here about other things, millions of dollars of life. People who have never been to Ukubi, they don't know the road to Omoko. They are making billions of you in Abuja and in Lagos. They are telling you, mm -hmm. and you want to die. Put your head inside this Nigeria and die inside. Yesterday I told you, do you know the collateral for those loans that Mechi is taking from the Chinese people? <laughs> it is the oil in Ogama, in Bukuma, in Obonama. It is the oil in Kola. It is the oil in Edama. It is the oil in Bile. That is what and I'm sure take a much I need loan okay. That is what he's doing. That is the collateral. They don't have anything. They said they are building railway. Railway. The, have you not heard of what is happening in Sri Lanka and Zambia where Chinese uh, creditors are taking national assets because of the loan they granted. Which loan? PPP project, all are scam as our nine. They're not contributing anything. So you waste your time, you waste your valuable time fighting and talking about something that has no meaning whatsoever. No meaning. Answers. Good governance. Now they tell you to fight National Assembly. That National Assembly is aiming so much. You were all here when uh, Buari wife said, I'm in three billion every year to Aso Ron uh, Cleaning. Buari wife, not to come. No, be me. No strange. No one at all. They are directing the National Assembly. Collect the whole salary of National Assembly. Is it up to that three billion they gave to this people? They want to divert what they do. That is what they started from the time of Osman Davoto. They declare our people corrupt. Why they are the same? Why they are Satan? They are the most corrupt people. They come and tell our people, the leaders, they are corrupt. You call as a great they say he's corrupt. You call Sadwana, no, 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 it's a saint. Lie. Sadwana was convicted as a common thief, a felon. Go and check. 
Was it not that you were convicted? Was I were convicted? Was I not fully convicted? Was I not fully convicted? Know what you are fighting for. What are you fighting for? If it is answers, you mumu. If it is good governance, you mumu. If it is resource control, you mumu. Who will control? Who will bring the results? Calculate what will go to you. When I talk about NDDC, some people don't. They say 13%. How much are they giving to NDDC? You are not there where decisions are taken. You are dancing and wasting. Look, let us fight for the real one. And that's why they get mad. And that's why they feel that we cannot do anything. And that's why they ask us, what can we do? Yes, they go. Somebody asked me, one by uh, Dr. Muzemi, a lawyer, my friend, what can he do? I came back to the Niger that and I did something. What can you people do? When I told him it's a joy, we can do something. But don't waste your time in doing rubbish. Don't waste your time in doing rubbish. For us here, yeah, for every German, for every German, for every Anang man, for every ethnic man, for every Ibo man, for every Ogoni man, for every Oron man, for every Ikwere man, Ekbe man, Oba man, Ndokwa man, the only solution the ends of all ends is Biafra. Don't let them deceive you. Angola Master Mabolo, Wabote Wabua, they collect us small, small and kill us. Nanja Delta, Bram, they kill Dokwasari, Bram, they kill Tampolo. Uh, Biafra, Ibo Biafra, Bram, they kill our Suriki. Eh? No. It is when we bring our collective strength together like this. It's here. Like this, like this. Then they will know. Awaken man. Oh, you more coral. Then they will know that we are strong. Don't be deceived. Don't allow them to divide you. You are dancing answers with people, people. You are not complaining now. You are dancing answers with Yoruba people. You are not complaining. But when we talk about Biafra, because you are under their pay. Because you are working for them, or that you are a coward. It just cannot go it alone. I will continue to repeat it. I am an eternal man. I am a commander. I am a general. I am a field marshal. I am everything in it your land. My pedigree is there. Not be, not be mouthed. They know me. Even they went to Abuja, they know me. When everybody come together, I know that I alone cannot do it. I know that Tompolo alone cannot do it. I know that all the job people who are willing to fight, Felix Mosquito, Kinsley, or everybody that is willing to fight, they cannot go it alone. We must all come together with our brothers from all of them, Hefik land, from Ibibio land, from everywhere, from Ibibio land. That is when we will win. In whatever name we call it, for now the only known name, the most preferred name is Biafra. But if we sit down and we decide on another name, it is our own choice. But let us come under a banner, a focus. What do we want? What we want is to end Nigeria now. <laughs>